the playmat consists of two sides of the court, one being your zone and the other being the opposing zone where your opponent's team is. Place the net card into a clip stand and put it between the two zones of the court. There are two sides to a member, ready and down. Only ready members can hit the ball, and they immediately flip over to the down status after hitting it. Choose a school team, then take its respective three-star members as well as its coach. Each member also has two copies of their own special move, which you should also take now. Look for the team markings on the card to help you sort them out. In total, you should have six special move cards. Next, take a generic deck marked A or B and its set of five generic members. Mix the six special moves into the generic deck and shuffle it. Then choose to place two of the generic members onto the playmat under the reserve spaces. These members will not be playing. Place the rest of your members, including your star members, onto the court in any order, filling all six spaces. Place your coach onto the coach space. Take the three yellow score markers and place them near the playmat score area. Take one red synergy cube and place it on your synergy track at the zero spot. This meter increases by one each time a member touches the ball. Toss a coin to determine which team serves first. Reset the synergy meter to zero for both teams. Swap one or two generic members on the court with your reserve members if you wish. Each player draws a card from their draw pile until they have at least eight in hand. The hand size limit is 10. If any player exceeds this amount, discard back down to 10. For the player serving the ball, place the ball on your serve spot. Then play a card from your hand that will send the ball over to the opposing zone. If you have no card with a distance value that can send the ball over the net to the opposing zone, then you must reveal your entire hand to your opponent and discard all your cards. Redraw eight new cards and retry. If you still do not have a single card that has a distance far enough to send the ball over, then you have faulted and lose a point. Your opponent now serves instead. After successfully hitting the ball over, remember to push your synergy meter value up to one. You always increase your synergy meter value whenever one of your members touches the ball. Do not flip down any member as the service is always a free opening move. Since your synergy value is one, Draw one card from your draw pile. It's now your opponent's turn. Your turn begins when the ball is sent over the net into your zone. You always start the turn by defending the incoming ball. To defend, discard any number of cards from your hand with a sum of defense values that equal or exceed the incoming hit value. If you fail to do so, you lose a point and a new round begins. Defending the ball does not require you to flip down any member unless you are utilizing the special effect of a dig card. Defending does not increase your synergy meter either. After successfully defending, choose a member in your team that is in a ready position. If the member is already on the same space as the ball, you do not have to spend any extra cards. However, if your chosen member is one or more spaces away from the ball, you will need to discard a number of cards equal to the spaces he needs to travel to reach the ball. Then play a card from your hand and flip down that chosen member in its own original space. Member movement in the game is always representative, and you never actually move the member's cards physically across the court. The ball is always considered to be played from its own location, not from the member's original location. If you are passing the ball to another member in your team, just focus on the distance stated on the play card. Your ball must travel this amount of spaces. When moving the ball, it must never go backwards. This means if you're hitting to the right side, it may never move left. If you're hitting to the back, it may never move forward. Note that you can only hit the ball up to three times. If the ball still does not cross the net by the third hit, you lose a point and a new round begins. Increase your synergy meter by one. If you are sending the ball over the net to the opposing zone, take note of the hit value of the card you play. This is the incoming hit value that the opponent must defend against. Remember, matching the move type to a generic member's specialization grants a bonus plus one hit, or matching a special move to its rightful star member. Once you send the ball over the net, your turn ends. Draw a number of cards equal to your current synergy meter's value. You always draw cards first, before your opponent begins their defense attempt. Check your hand size limit and discard down accordingly.
If you have decoys in your hand, you can play one to cancel out an opponent's block when he discards one for defense. There may also be other special moves in the game that will cause an opponent's defense cards to be canceled or removed. In all such cases, the opponent can still attempt to discard yet more cards to cover up the missing defense. If you pass the ball from a front row space to another front row space, and then send the ball into the opposing zone, a heavy attack occurs. Reset your synergy meter to 1 regardless of where it was. When defending against a heavy attack, instead of discarding cards from your hand like usual, you must instead decide how many cards you wish to commit to defense. Then you fan out your hand of cards and let your opponent randomly pick that amount of cards. All the picked cards are discarded, and you check if the total defense values of the discarded cards is able to overcome the hit value. A round ends when a player scores a point, or if one does not have enough cards to play. The player who won the point always performs the serve for the new round. The game ends when a player reaches three points. Use the yellow cubes provided to track the score. You may extend the length of the game by mutually agreeing to reach four or five points instead of the default three. In four-player mode, the setup is exactly the same, except that each player now holds half of the original hand in a team. Instead of filling back to eight cards in hand at the start of every new round, players now draw up to four cards each. The hand size limit is five cards each instead of ten. Each player is only able to play cards on three specific members in the team. Players on the same team should be sitting side by side, and their opponents facing them from opposite. The three members that the player on the left side can play cards on are on the top left, bottom left, and bottom middle. The three members that the player on the right side can play cards on are on the top right, bottom right, and top middle. The top right corner is to the player on the right side as the bottom left corner is to the player on the left side. Only the corresponding player can control his members, be it to perform a move or to discard cards to reach for a ball. Players are never allowed to discuss what cards they have in hand, but they can ask for the ball or tell their partner to try and take the ball.